when we asked our participating instructor what he felt about peer tutoring. This is what he had to say. All students were engaged, learning, and participating. So I'll begin by just kind of explaining what I did in my class and the activities. And uh, what I did was we had a chapter eight vocabulary. It was eight words. Um, and I've noticed not so much the difficulty of my vocabulary, but sometimes there's probably 20% of students who feel like it's, you know, they don't really they don't really take it very seriously, and maybe they don't complete their work or anything like that. And what I found out with the peer tutoring is not only did it help them learn the words, but it encouraged the participation of everybody to turn in their stuff because they were partnered up. They saw the rest of the class participating, and so everybody wanted to be involved in it because everybody wanted to earn their points, and it gave them a competitive side to learning the vocabulary, which high school kids really respond to. Peer tutoring encouraged students who typically have issues with social interaction. I think this activity is is a pretty powerful one for people um, that have issues with social contact or emotional distress or anything like that. Um, as long as the rest of the class, my, my class, I told them to make sure that they were very quiet so they were so they didn't disturb. That's what I told them. That's why I, that was the reason I gave them to be quiet. But I also didn't want other people being able to you know make fun of anybody else. And um, what this really did was because of the the positivity in the. In the, re in the reinforcement, it gave those kids additional opportunities to learn the word. It was, no, that's not the word, here's the word. And there was no, no, you're wrong. You know, no, that's, uh -uh, that's not it. Nobody, you know, the whole class couldn't hear. And it gave them instantaneous feedback. You know, when the kids are doing vocabulary words, I don't see it until maybe 24 hours later, and then I can give them their feedback, and by then it's been 48 hours. And then it was instantaneous and, and positive. Um, so there, and so those kids who kind of fear social contact, gave them some interaction with a student in a positive way, and so I thought it was pretty effective. Students got immediate feedback on performance, which may have been otherwise delayed. Photosynthesis. Exactly. Yeah. Yay, okay. good job. <laughs> Very good. How many times did I get to go through Excellent. it? Excellent. Well, you got 64 mm -hmm. points. I went through it four times. Sweet. Wow. Very good. And not only did you all do a great job awarding points correctly, but you did a wonderful job with peer praise. Thank you. So good job. Thank so you, you both earned bonus points Yay. as well. Yay. Okay. So what I'd like for you to do now is to take out your blue point sheets, please, from your folders. And I want you to tally the, okay, go ahead and switch, switch your point sheets back again, please. So on your point sheet, mm -hmm. Tally the number of points, and it looks like maybe mm -hmm. stuck right there. Mm -hmm. You'll tally the no your regular points, bonus points, and then you'll give each other citizenship points. Okay. You'll tally those and write those on your blue point sheet for day one of peer tutoring. So go ahead and award each other citizenship points, and then tally all of your points I'm together. Give you this <laughs> no. Okay. I'm giving you H as well. Thank you. Okay. That was fun. Yeah. Good. And you both, yes, you both earned the maximum number of points for citizenship, 40 points. Yep, well deserved. You both worked very well together. It made learning key concepts fun. I definitely saw some kids, you know, being giggly and having fun with it. But then again, you know, that's kind of what you want in this game. Because if you take it so seriously and it's just, it takes a lot of the fun out of it. And that's why it's so effective, because the kids have fun with it. Um, there might be one or two times where I'm like, all right, guys, you know, let's get back on task. Or, you know, they're looking over, okay, how many points do you guys have? How many points do you guys have? Um, which is, was really fine um, because the more competitive they want to be about it, the harder they want to they learn the words, the, the better they want to do at the assignment. And so really the having fun with it is, is a great way to actually improve the game because the kids are having fun they're, and they're learning at the same time, which is really what you want in the classroom anyway. So maybe a little distractions, but if anything, distractions kind of improve the overall quality of the game. Is how well a substance can flow across the membrane. Wow, keep going. Okay, cells are <laughs> the basic structure and function of an organism. The basic what? Oh my gosh, did I miss that? The, the basic, basic structure. Unit? The basic unit of structure and function of an organism. Good. I'm Good gonna job. get that one. Okay. Pairing students with higher and lower academic abilities was helpful. Encouraging the student who was lower achieving to be the first tutor was helpful. I would really try to, if you can, um, pair students up with maybe a um, more advanced student and a more of elementary student um, together because when you have two kids that are are both advanced or both low um, the game doesn't seem to be as effective but when it's really like a tutor and a 2D um, 
type envi environment, I think the kids really respond because the the person who's maybe a more advanced student, they're kind of getting some feeling of, oh, hey, I'm helping the student out. And the person who's not as, as advanced is feeling like, oh, I have somebody who really knows their stuff and they're really, they're going to help me. Um, and so I really saw that with, because I, I matched them up randomly. And, you know, so some groups were both, you know, I had really high students, really low students, and a mixed match in between at some groups. And I really saw the most effective ones were the ones that were kind of mixed matched. Because they were, they were really, I mean, you really, really took on the tutor and 2D presence. And when the person who was a little, the lower student got to be the tutor, and it kind of put them in a place of, hey, I'm, you know, I'm correcting them, I'm helping this person out who I see as a more advanced student. So it kind of did some self-confidence things for them as well, I think.